Former Buckeye Nathan Williams joins us. Nate, thanks for taking the time, bud. You know, I remember this vividly, going down to Washington Courthouse and talking to you when you committed to play uh, to Ohio State. And uh, you, you, were, you were a kid at the time who certainly was, was sure of himself. And I look at the way your career played out, and uh, it's one I think we can all be proud of. It, it, and now that it's over, has it finally all set in? Uh, what was done here, what was accomplished here, and just the wild, wild ride you were on while you were here at Ohio State. Yeah, it was it was uh, it was definitely uh, definitely something that I uh, will cherish for the rest of my life. Being a part of uh, such great teams as I was, being a Rose Bowl champion, uh, Sugar Bowl champion, and you know going undefeated last year, and and what a way to end uh, my career with you know beating Michigan, going undefeated, and you know it's just something that I could share with uh, my kids someday, and I'm uh, you know proud to be uh, a Buckeye for life. How does that ring look, Nate? Uh, actually, I've I've only seen pictures of it. I, I don't I don't have it right now yet. Um, I've been out here in Arizona since uh, mid December, so I haven't got a chance to really uh, enjoy myself in Columbus and go back to the facility and and see everybody other than when I went to the pro day. All right, well that'll be something to look forward to. Uh, speaking of the NFL, I mean we've really documented your injury ride, and we give you a lot of praise for for coming back and and getting through that. Uh, was there ever a doubt in your mind that you would get back to this uh, this point in your career with a, with a chance to play at the next level when you got injured? Was there a doubt in your mind? Um, yeah, yeah, there was. I'll be honest. Um, you know, coming, you feel uh, you know on top of the world when you're uh, out there making plays and healthy. Um, but you know, when you're when you're injured and you know on a bed on a machine for hours upon hours uh, every single day, and you know you kind of get depleted a little bit. Um, not only uh, physically, but mentally, you know, just thinking, you know, what if, what if, what if, and, um, you know, my main goal as soon as I, uh, as soon as I had surgery done was to get back um, and uh, be able to play the first game and finish the entire season being uh, injury free. And I uh, accomplished my goal and I've, um, I've only, you know, increased my value being here in Arizona training and, getting prepared for, um, you know, rookie camp and uh, just getting prepared for all the new uh, journeys I'll be um, taking part of in the NFL. Talking to uh, former Buckeye Nate Williams. Nate, I want to get one really interested in the NFL preparation and all that stuff, but one more thing I want to get to uh, with you on your career. You were obviously part of just, I don't know any other word to describe it other than just strange, a strange part in Buckeye football history, uh, the transition from, from Trestle to Fickle to Meyer. Um, as a guy who was in the middle of it, uh, in the middle of that storm, what, what was that like now that you've had some time to get some perspective on it? Uh, you know, it, it was, uh, gosh, what could I say about that? It was just, it was hectic. It was crazy. I, I, you, you go back and you think about, you know, coach Tressel and just, you, you put yourself in the meeting room, meeting room with them and just how, how, you know, crazy it is to think that he, you know, is not there now. And, um, you know, it was, it was, it was so different, you know, transitioning to coach Trestle to the way that coach Fickle conducted his meetings and then transitioning from coach Fickle to, you know, coach Meyer, it was just so much change and just completely different perspectives of how they view the game and how they conduct meetings and how they treat players and, um, you know, all the above. And as you know, uh, um, interviewing with uh, coach Trestle and, you know, coach Fickle and coach Meyer, they're, they're three completely different men um, and how they handle themselves and their beliefs. And, uh, you know, just uh, thinking back and all the great memories I we shared with Coach Tressel and, you know, I, immediately what comes to mind is, you know, Coach Tressel's last, uh, you know, farewell to us in the, in the Woody Hayes Center after a, after a workout. Um, it's just uh, he, he came to us and, you know, the, the, that's the last time I had seen him actually when he had said goodbye to all of us and it was just so emotional to – to have to go through, but, um, you know, I, I, everyone wished him the best and he, always, you know, we, we still communicate and talk and, um, you know, he'll, he'll be a part of my life for, you know, the rest of my life. And I'll always go to him for advice and, um, you know, but right now I think we're on the, uh, we're on the, um, the up with, uh, coach Meyer, you know, going undefeated. And I mean, everything's looking great for us and got a lot of young guys going to be looking forward to contributing this year and it should be a fun year.
talking to Nathan Williams, former Buckeye here, as he gets ready for the NFL draft. And hopefully you'll get drafted. I know that uh, you've been working real hard, and I've been reading a lot of good stuff about you. So you are near or you're 100% medically. I mean, everything's good. You're, as, you're feeling as good about your situation now as you've ever been? Oh, absolutely. Yeah, this um... – I was so looking forward to this off season and, you know, the first chance I got to come out here, I did. And, um, you know, it's, it's benefited uh, me greatly. I, it's the first actually full off season I've had in a couple of years to actually, you know, work on my leg strength and work on my burst and, you know, having all last season, not going through anything, you know, only practicing a couple of times before the first game and just, you know, experimenting, you know, really throughout the entire season with how my knee will hold when I, you know, cut this way or cut that way or plant. And it was just a whole bunch of uh, experimenting and just, um, you know, gaining confidence in myself. And right now I'm, I'm probably as confident as ever. And I, I can't wait to get into camp and, and I'm, I'm craving to be coached, and uh, I, I just can't wait to learn and be a part of, um, you know, my new team. And I'm just looking forward to everything. Nate, what is the, what's the feeling like for you? Can you put it into words for me of, of this uncertainty yet excitement and yet this what has got to feel like a forever wait until the draft? What, what's going on uh, in your head as you kind of wait for this these days to, to kind of to get going so you can find out where you're going to end up? Uh, well, it, it's it's kind of crazy. I mean, I think we got the hard part out of the way with the the combine and um, the pro day, and so right now it's just um, you know I'm thankful to be working out every day and and being healthy and just waiting for my uh, my name to be called, hope God willing, and um, I'm I'm just ready to go, man. Uh, whoever whoever picks me is going to get a pleasant surprise when I you know go into camp completely healthy and back to my old self and. Um, Right now, it's just uh, it's a blessing to be in this position. I really, I really don't think much of it other than just to continue waking up each morning, looking forward to uh, the day's work, and you know, working my best. And every single time I work out, I get better every day. Nate, what what uh, is the best fit for you at the next level? Are you, I mean, linebacker is the next best fit. Yeah, I would I would definitely say that. I'm, uh, you know, I played at Ohio State, um, you know, outside linebacker, defensive end, and I'm sure I'll be doing the same thing at the next level. Um, I've heard, you know, several things from different teams regarding me as, you know, um, somewhat of a middle linebacker in a 3-4 scheme, and I've heard everything from that to an outside linebacker. So it varies, but I just know wherever I go, they'll have a, a spot for me, and um and they know how, they'll know how to use me in certain situations, and I can't wait to be a part of that. Nate, good luck, buddy, the rest of the way here, and uh, good luck on on draft weekend. Uh, looking forward to you playing at the next level, pal. Hey, thank you very much. I look forward to speaking with you guys again.